The Wonder Kid we're going to show in this video is incredible. Not only does he win 10 plus Ballon d'Ors, he scores over 1,000 goals, pretty much breaks the Football Manager match engine, and we're going to show you exactly how we get him playing like that. So without further ado, let's run the intro and get right into it. Hello everyone, Jake here for FM Scout and it's another episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar, the series where we take a Wonder Kid in FM23, put them to the higher end of their potential range to see what kind of player you might be able to get in your save. And today's one was a real star and when I put him into this simulation, I thought he'd do well but nowhere near as well as he did do. It was incredible really. I'm so excited to get into it so let's do exactly that and I'll show you where you can find a player first. We first head into Brazil and then we're going to go to Atletico Paranense. Apologies if I've pronounced that wrong, but it is the team managed by none other than Luis Felipe Scolari. They also have Fernandinho in the team, but that's not the player we're here to see. Today, we are going to be looking at youngster Vitor Roque. Now, trust me, if you've seen him before, you know how good he can be, but it's just going to go beyond that in this video. And I'll show you exactly how we get him there. But this guy is a brilliant young Brazilian striker competing with Endrick, I guess, who's available usually for around £15 million or so. The only issue is he has only just joined his new club so you'll usually have to wait a little bit before you sign him we've signed him in my Leicester save which if you want to you can check out on my channel linked in the description I'd greatly appreciate that we signed Vitor Roque in our second season I believe maybe it was our third um, and at that point we were able to pick him up for 10 million pounds or so and he has developed into a great Premier League striker already. At 17 years of age, he's got bags of talent and ability and a lot of what you would want from an advanced forward. I know it's trying to suggest a wide player here. I don't really know why. Advanced forward is the route I would go for him. He's very quick. I mean, fairly strong. That'll get better in time. 10 strength isn't great, but he is only 17, but he's quick. Agile, good stamina, composed, very well-rounded, I would say. I mean, you could look at all the attributes yourself. There's nothing amazingly stand out about him just yet, but he's got a very good base set to build up from. There's no real issues in his game just yet. And I think that's one of the reasons he can be so effective. Like I say, 15 million pounds or so, and his potential range will be anywhere from 150 to 180. For the purposes of this video, we're going to use the editor to bring him over to our side, Real Madrid, and I'll show you exactly how we're setting him up over there. So he's made his way over. We are playing a 4-2-3-1 Gagan Press preset, as I do in pretty much all of these Wonder Kid to Superstar simulations to keep it fair. And up front is none other than our man Vitor Roque, a striker playing for Real Madrid who's Brazilian. Is it the next coming of R9? Well, we'll see in this video whether that is the case, but he's got some phenomenal attributes. In in terms of his development and his training, we're not going to do anything too crazy, but what is very important with Vitor Roque is the mentor inside of him, because I've loaded up a few saves, and as with most young players, a few of his attributes can vary, particularly his determination. I've seen it at 15 in one save, 13 at another, and then 8 in another save, so you want to try and get a version of him where that determination is strong. And to help with that, I'm also mentoring him. I think it's so important and something that needs to be done. And in terms of his training, like I say, we're not doing anything too crazy. It's just focusing in on that position, on normal intensity, no additional focus, and just letting him grow. But as mentioned, make sure you are mentoring this guy to give him the best personality possible and the best chance of reaching that potential. Now, with this being said, we are going to simulate a few years into the future to see how Vitor Roque's got on. We'll first check him out at the lower end of his potential range, then in his prime, and then right at the end of his career to see what he can become. So let's take a little trip into the future to see just how well this Brazilian striker can do. Okay, here we are in 20. 2025, just about to kick off the 2025-2026 season. So Vitor Roque has had a few years at the club now, and he's begun to develop a hell of a lot. Now, he isn't crazy, crazy good just yet, but wait on that. To let you know right now, he is on 148 current ability. After a few years, he's 20 at this point, and 148 current ability is lower than any potentially could have, because the worst potential he'll have in your save is 150, 151, something like that. So even if you get the worst version possible of Vitor Roque, when you get him to his potential, he'll still look better than what we're seeing here. So he's definitely worth that investment. His physicals have developed a lot. He's very quick and agile now, great stamina, and he's also got some good strength to go alongside that. Good off the ball work, good passer with good vision, passing, and technique. He's also so very composed and makes good decisions and on top of that good long shots good first touch good finishing good dribbling everything you'd want for an advanced forward 
he is doing very well here. If I highlight the things that we need for him, he is at a good level for all of them, but can still get a hell of a lot better. As you can see, compared to other players at Real Madrid, he's now considered a three-star player with plenty of development still to be had, but he's been doing very well in this match engine. And I must say, obviously, with every player that we use here, we do bring them to a big team usually to get the best out of them, I guess. So just bear in mind that he is at Real Madrid and he is their main striker. But even with that being said, some of these numbers are crazy. Bear in mind, he was 17 here. All we're doing is going on holiday, asking the assistant to play him up front in a standard 4-2-3-1 Gagan press. And he has scored a goal a game in his first season. And then in his second season, 50 goals in the league alone. And then in the next season after that, pretty much a goal a game as well. This guy does not miss. He's playing incredibly well. Um, even if it was Benzema up front, I'd be surprised with him getting anywhere near these numbers. And that's not even to count the goals that he's scored in other competitions. His work so far has been phenomenal and he's developing into a top tier player, but it's only going to get better. So let me quickly hop on over to the prime of his career to see just how good he can get. And to do that, I've gone to 2034 and already you're seeing his star rating is very high. Now, as we go and take a look at him, don't forget to subscribe as we're pushing for 100 and 50,000 subscribers at the minute and if you could smash the like button that would also be great and let me know in the comments who you'd like to see next but I mean can anyone ever top Vita Roque here like Endrick was great right he was phenomenal but I wasn't expecting that level of performance from Vitor Roque but I think in terms of what he does in the in-game engine he's very close to overshadowing Endrick and his ability levels here are off the charts this is him at 179 current ability in terms of everything you'd want from a striker, he's got it. Agile, strong, great balance, very quick. Uh, composure and decision making are incredible. Off the ball work is fantastic. Long shots, first touch, finishing, dribbling, and he can link up play very nicely as well. This guy is the complete package up front, and it goes to show how strong he is at full development because I'm not managing him for Brazil, of course, but for them, he's played 57 times and scored 43 goals. That's an incredible return, and he's now one of the best players in Real Madrid history. If we have a look at his goal scoring numbers, you'll see exactly why. So, since we brought him in, he obviously scored a goal a game. Following that, way more than a goal a game and he did that all the way throughout his career so far in one season scoring 68 goals in 38 league games like that is just bonkers to me how that would even be possible but it only gets better from here because I've actually simulated to the end of his career so let me quickly switch over to that and it's insane how much better he got I mean we had that season where he scored 52 in 36 since then he's only ever scored below 50 on a couple of occasions one where he scored 47 and another 49 but one season he got an 8.31 average match rating with 101 goals in all competitions eight of them were friendlies mind you but even still to hit nearly 70 goals in a singular league season on two occasions for Real Madrid is incredible and I mean if this guy scored 30 goals a season he consider it a disappointment it's been a long time since I've seen any kind of numbers like this again he's playing up front for Real Madrid so he's gonna do well but to do this well is nuts I mean he's 33 at this point 67 goals for Brazil in 87 caps he's still got a few years left in him but I'm gonna leave it there in terms of the simulation Overall competitions, I worked it out. He scored way over a thousand goals. On my calculator, I'd got to something like 1,250 and I decided to stop. But I mean, let's check out the Ballon d'Ors. And I have had a look at this already, but just to show you guys how incredible this is. When we start the simulation, Lewandowski wins the next Ballon d'Or. Vitor Roque is already, though, the runner-up. Following that, Vinicius Jr. wins the competition. And then after that, it's been Vitor Roque for every single season from 2025 to... 2036 so I could be wrong but I think that's 11 Ballon d'Ors in a row and chances are if we keep going he's going to keep hitting Ballon d'Ors because his next closest competition is a retiring Dusan Vlahovic who is already a manager so there you go he's done incredibly well there Vita Roque even though we've done Hendrik so far we've done Arda Gula I think Roque might be the best wonder kid that I've done a wonder kid to superstar on in terms of performance and growth and his availability. I don't have the Brazilian leagues loaded in this save. I just have large database set, Real Madrid, Spanish league only, and he was in it. He's cheap as well. I think he's going to be a world beater in most of your saves. He's already looking like that in my Leicester save, which again, you can check out on my channel, linked in the description. But yeah, I'm giving him an 11 out of 10 Vita Roque. Phenomenal player. Let me know down below if you've tried to sign him yet or not. But I think if you haven't already, you definitely should. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.